How you doing everybody? Tim here from the Tactical Defender and we have another backpack review for you today. Now this is a little bit different than other packs you've seen on my channel. Some of you may know that I've done work with BDS Tactical out of Oceanside, California some time ago. We've done quite a few reviews. Uh, I still have all their gear. They make amazing tactical gear. When I think tactical style backpacks, chest rigs, pouches, all that stuff. And they do make a lot of that for our military as well as law enforcement officers. Um, I think BDS Tactical, they really are at the top of that list. Well, their uh, users, their customers said, you know what, we would like something, let's say, less tactical maybe less pals webbing but we still want the same quality Codor fabrics ykk zippers amazing warranty we just want it less tactical looking right well they put together the freedom pack by bds tactical it is a 2500 cubic inch backpack amazing for the beach going out with the family short hikes because it is although a great pack it is not a very large pack at least not for me i do require a little bit bigger for going out with the family this is perfect going to go to the beach or the lake in the afternoon this is perfect the freedom pack from bds tactical is what we're looking at today I take the pack off, lay it on the rock behind me and get up close and personal with it and show you the features and the outside inside of the Freedom Pack by BDS Tactical. I wanted to tell you that it is 2,500 cubic inches. We have 1,000 Denia Cordura as well as 400 Denia Cordura on other smaller portions of the pack. The backing, the padding against your back as well as the shoulder is half inch closed cell foam it is really comfortable on my shoulders on my back they do say that it is form fitting it's meant to be worn mid-level on your back i can tell you it is very form fitting it feels well more or less one with me when i walk when i was out with it and i hiked with it already it does have a sternum strap which is adjustable and or removable it does have attachments for a waist belt I don't recall if it came with one, to be honest with you. I don't feel it needs one. You know personally I don't like them because I usually have a gun, a knife on me, a spear mag on me. All waist belts, regardless of the size of the pack, I just remove or fold away inside if that's how they're designed. But um, it is an extremely comfortable pack. It has no PALS webbing except some support PALS on the shoulders, but it has no PALS webbing. Again, I'll show you that in a second. It does have water bottle holders on each side. I know a lot of people like those. Me personally, take it or leave it. I really don't care if, it ha if a pack has that, but I do know a lot of my subscribers said we like to see some packs with water bottle holders. People like those, they really do. I don't like water bladders. It does not have a water bladder compartment. I don't use water bladders. I like just a, um, a water, a bottle, a container, but I usually just stuff it inside my pack. Good, bad, or indifferent, that's what I do. With this pack, you don't have it, you don't have to. It has it on the sides. Um, it's a comfortable pack, there's no doubt about it. It's only $69. 95 it's $70 I will have links as I always do to their website they do sell other backpacks by the way I do believe they're the only company that I'm aware of that you can you can customize your pack you buy the pack you know the basic backpack and then you can add whatever you want to it and uh, obviously as you do that the price increases but you will get the pack that you want exactly the way you want it they're the only people that I know that do that and uh, they always use Cordora they always use YKK zip in their best quality that is available uh, for making gear like this so let's take this off let's drop it on the rock I'm going to show you what I brought with me today that's in it and we'll talk about the outside as well as the inside. 
The sun is really bright. I really can't see what I'm playing at, so hopefully this comes out well. So on the front of the pack, we do have some um, shock cord with a shock cord lock. You can put a towel, a tarp, sleeping bag, uh, rain jacket, fleece, poncho, whatever you want. Everywhere I go, I always carry a shemog year-round. Perfect spot for a shemog. Now... This particular color is the uh, ATAX, I believe, LE Black, but I believe the LEE stands for Law Enforcement. Let's get close. You can kind of see that there. All right. Shock cord adjustable. Of course, it does come off. We do have a hook and loop field right there. We also have a grab handle. Look at the, that is a very robust grab handle. Seriously. YKK zippers, they are really strong. On the front here, we do have a zipper. Again, YKK, nice big zipper. I have gloves, I have a hat. And that's it, because when I come over here this morning, it was it was cold. It was pretty chilly. Um, this goes from there to there. That is a large pouch from side to side and from the zipper all the way down. And that's pretty much the basic uh, for the front, okay? On the side, I do have a large... Don't want that to roll off. A large uh, water bottle. All right. On the side, you can see here, no PALS webbing. But they do have a elastic with a net. So you can put in a water bottle. All right. Let's go over to the other side. Again, no PALS webbing. Remember, they did, people that requested this kind of bag did not want. They want less tactical. So we have no PALS webbing. You do see a slight color, uh, a camo pad in there. Really blends in well with the black. You have another water bottle holder on this side. On the bottom, no PALS webbing. You just have one drainage hole there. And then on the back, we do have that half inch, half inch closed cell foam very comfortable some venting there for sweat you do have their bds uh sport logo there bds tactical they make fantastic quality gear let's discuss the the uh the straps shoulder straps great sewing they are sewn into the bag you can see all the way down here and again i the the, the uh the sun is brutal right now. I can barely see my LCD screen here on my uh, camera. They are adjustable. We do have a sternum strap, also adjustable. We do have, now these are scratch. I've been throwing this thing around. It's been laying on a rock. We do have two D-rings. These are metal. Very comfortable shoulder straps. Let's look down here. we got some really nice sewing stitching. Now, again, I don't recall. You can actually see. Now, this size pack, you don't need a waist belt. I don't believe so, right? A waist belt on your pack. They do have this here to add it. I apologize. I do not recall if it came with one. Again, if it did, it's not It's not a padded one. It's not for actually bearing any weight. It would just be to hug it closer to your body so it doesn't move around. Not that I personally found that to be a problem at all. Up here again, you know me. I, I'm a sucker for grab handles. You have to have a grab handle, and this thing is tough. It really is. And I love these zippers with the, the zipper pull, how they did that. Great quad. It is a fantastic looking bag. Now let's open it up and look inside. All right, now I, uh, I already unzipped it because I am doing this with one hand. But you can see here that it only zippers three quarters of the way. So it stops at the top of your uh, elastic netting here for your water bottle holder it does flop open and you can see there inside so I do have a medical kit 
I have a tarp. That is a 10 by 10 tarp. I do have, these are all my uh, uh, tarp straps, paracord, uh, rope, different stuff like that. I always carry that with me everywhere I go when I go into the woods. We do have tree straps, uh, hammock straps. And then, of course, a hammock. And that is all. Now you can see there, that is what I had inside. That's not a bad, uh, and look, I'm not taking the smallest stuff, right? 10 by 10 tarp, a large water bottle. Um, you know, I have a medical kit. People don't need a medical kit that big, but you know, I'm paranoid and uh, I do. So on the inside, here is the inside. Hopefully you can see that because I cannot in the LCD screen. Now, this is optional, this pouch. If you already have a uh, any pouches, PALS webbing pouches, or uh, I mean molly capable pouches, you can hook them in here because on the inside, it does come with right there PALS webbing, which goes from the top of the bag two right there and all the way on side to side. It does have PALS webbing sewn into the pack. Let's get close, see you go right there. So if you already own pouches, you can use your pouches obviously there. They sent this with uh, to me with this. I do recall, uh, I do believe this is optional. So again, YKK, it is BDS tactical quality, really nice pouch. So I put that in there and I've been, there's nothing in there today, but I've been carrying my other items in there because I actually been using this for an EDC bag. It's it's not exactly, uh, again, not exactly the, the size that I need for hiking when I go out and do what I do, but I also know a lot of people don't take the amount of stuff that I would take. This here is not nearly the amount of stuff that I normally take. I usually take more than that. But I wanted to uh, fill up the bag for demonstration purposes, and this is what I put in there. I know people don't take that much stuff. So anyway, that, that's it. That is the inside of the bag. I mean, it does hold, it is 2,500 cubic inches. This pouch does not come with it. It does have PALS webbing. You can add any pouch you want, providing it is capable of attaching uh, via the uh, molly straps or uh, attaching to PALS webbing. All right, once again, this is the Freedom Pack by BDS Tactical. You're looking at a price tag, I do recall, uh, just under $70 for a 2,500 cubic inch pack. That is not bad at all, especially with this quality. Made with Cordura, YKK zippers. It's just fantastic quality. Uh, use it in a, a day pack, an EDC bag, I mean, uh, going to the beach, the park, going out with the family, a short hike. Uh, I personally require a slightly larger bag uh, because of what I do when I go out, I test and review gear, but a lot of people don't take what I would take. A couple things, some water, you put whatever it in, and you're good to go. 15 plus colors i'm not kidding look at the link down below they have a crap load of colors a multiple a large handful of uh, camo patterns also in different colors really that i've never seen a selection of colors like that for any any gear any of the gear that i review uh, they do offer a lot of choice that's it BDS Tactical, the Freedom Pack, links down below. Thank you for watching this video, everybody. Be well, stay safe.